Welcome to Gurukul Universal Presentation. In this presentation, we will delve deep into the art of brainstorming, unraveling its techniques, tools, and strategies to help you become a more proficient and confident essay writer. We will explore how brainstorming can transform your writing process, empowering you to generate innovative ideas, overcome writer's block, and organize your thoughts with precision. In the following slides we will discuss different techniques. Brainstorming is compiling thoughts from your mind onto the written page and generating a wealth of content to engage with diverse ideas and harness your creativity. It's the most effective method for gathering your thoughts. It also offers valuable assistance in structuring your ideas. It guarantees that only top-notch concepts are incorporated into the essay. Brainstorming is a creative thinking process used to generate a wide range of ideas and solutions related to a particular topic or problem. During brainstorming, individuals or groups focus on the topic at hand and aim to generate as many ideas as possible, often without initial judgment or criticism. The primary goal is to encourage free thinking and creativity, allowing any idea that comes to mind to be expressed, regardless of its relevance or feasibility. Free writing is a creative writing technique that encourages the writer to let their thoughts flow freely without the constraints of grammar, structure, or immediate editing. This method is often used to overcome writer's block, stimulate creativity, and generate a stream of consciousness on a given topic or idea. Free writing is an excellent technique for breaking through writer's block, overcoming self-doubt, and accessing your inner creativity. It allows you to tap into your subconscious mind and discover ideas and connections you might not have otherwise recognized. It's a valuable tool for writers, students, and anyone seeking to enhance their creative thinking and writing skills. Creating a cube for brainstorming is a unique and effective technique for exploring a topic from various angles and generating a well-rounded set of ideas. Each side of the cube represents a different task or perspective related to the topic. Describe the topic. On this side, you'll write a brief but clear definition of the topic you're brainstorming. Compare the topic. List key questions. Identify key questions or aspects related to the topic. Associate the topic. Write down any personal experiences, anecdotes, or stories that relate to the topic. Analyze the topic. Consider the advantages and disadvantages, strengths, and weaknesses of the topic. Finally, apply and argue, brainstorm potential solutions, ideas, or strategies associated with the topic. This side is where you aim to create actionable insights. The clustering technique, also known as mind mapping or concept mapping, is a visual brainstorming method where you write down words, concepts, or ideas associated with a central topic, allowing your thoughts to flow freely and organically. This technique helps you to explore connections, relationships, and patterns within your ideas. The clustering technique is a versatile tool that can be used for various purposes, including brainstorming for essay writing, problem solving, project planning, and organizing thoughts. Listing and bulleting are simple yet effective techniques for organizing and presenting information in a clear and structured manner. These methods involve creating lists of terms, ideas, or concepts related to a specific topic. A Venn diagram is an excellent visual tool for comparing and contrasting two topics. Commonalities. Paris in France and Texas both are cities. Differences. Paris. France is French-speaking. It has Eiffel Tower, and is the capital of France, whereas Paris in Texas is a county seat and English-speaking. A tree diagram is a visual representation that centers around a core idea, from which you extend branches to delve into specific details. The tree diagram stands as a highly valuable instrument for the art of constructing classification essays.
emulate a journalist's mindset by employing English question words to probe and investigate the subject matter. The journalistic approach technique is employed in the process of defining the narrative for the essay. To compare or contrast various categories about a specific topic or topics using a T-shaped diagram, you can follow these steps. In the left column of the T, list the categories or aspects you want to compare or contrast. In the right column of the T, provide details, examples, or characteristics for each category. A tree diagram is a useful tool for crafting an essay that highlights contrasts or comparisons. In a spoke diagram, you place the main topic within a circle and then brainstorm causes and effects, arranging them around the circle like spokes radiating from a hub. The spoke diagram is a method employed when you aim to delve into the relationships of cause and effect. Thank you for watching Gurukul Universal Presentation. Please like and subscribe our channel.